Hey, Megas. It's nice to be in front of you again. What an 18 months we've had with this COVID crisis around the world has made it so difficult for us all to gather and play games and keep our society as fresh as, uh, as it can be. And I, for one, have missed it hugely in terms of being able to get together at events and see other war gamers and play more games. I'm sure you've had the same. Um, and as many of you know, what a six months it's been for me personally. I had an operation that went horribly wrong in early December. Uh, it's created a really horrible neurologic effect. So my whole nervous system went crazy for quite a while. It's still not fully recovered. Uh, it takes a long while to heal um, neural injuries. So it's been a pretty difficult time. Plus, uh, plus we all had COVID. So it's been pretty difficult to get through, but we're still standing. Um, so, first of all, a big thank you to me from everybody who sent me lovely messages. I have so many messages of support on Facebook, but many, many more privately sent to me as I was going through some tough times. And I'm pleased to say I'm now coming out of that, which is, uh, which is a real blessing. And I'm so glad to uh, be here and have my family still here. And just my thoughts go out to everybody who suffered with the COVID crisis, especially those who sadly lost people through it. However, we are ready to reboot. It's a, it's a great time to get going again. We've, we're ready for a purple tsunami. Um, there's a lot of new players coming to the game. I can see it from the combination of Pacto and Ultracast. So a huge welcome to all of you who've started Ancients for the very first time, picking up one of those ready-made army packs and building armies. I've seen some beautiful work on Facebook. It's uh, fantastic to see. Long may it continue. And we haven't really had the chance to be out there promoting it to people in real life yet. Um, Q3, Q4 are all wonderfully set up with events in several countries. The UK event list is already looking fantastic. I'd like to highlight just a couple, if I may, to you. Um, the LGT as PSC, we agreed in, uh, with the LGT to host the Plastic Soldier Company gathering. So this is going to be our annual biggest event anywhere in the world. And the LGT was fantastically run last year and all the years before by Zach. It's based in North London. It's extremely easy to get to. Um, we've got a whole host of events going on there. So the Meg World Championship will be there for those of you who really want to play in that and give it a go. It's a Maximus version, so it's the full 10,000 points. It's entirely open. If you have got a Maximus army and you're feeling a little bit of trepidation about entering a competition, please don't worry because the competitions in Meg are very lighthearted and there's very little tension there and people are extremely helpful. So you can, you can learn to play the game with the comp players very, very easily and have a lot of fun getting involved in the game. So don't fear at all joining in. If you've got the figures to do it, do it. However, we also have a Pacto gathering. That's going to be more a social event. I'm gonna be running that and I'll be helping players playing Pacto, chipping in with advice throughout. There's no prizes for winning particularly. There's prizes for amusing events and lovely armies, best painted armies and such things. Uh, and we will be pairing the armies up for interesting matches and to mix with people who don't know each other. Uh, it should be an absolutely fun thing. So if you've got going and you've got a Pacto army, make the trip for a few days. Honestly, you'll have a blast, you'll have a load of fun um, and we'll, we'll roll a load of dice together. Um, and uh, hopefully it'll just boost everybody's enthusiasm even more. So that's the Pacto gathering uh, that's there. For those of you who've picked up the Renaissance set in testing, which Alistair's been working on, there's also a Renaissance Reg competition there for that set of rules, which uh, probably is still due out this year at the end of the year, although COVID's caused chaos, of course, with all of the production schedules when combined with uh, me being out of action for a while, but they're largely there. Um, and that's a kind of final test run for Alistair um, in September prior to putting it all to bed and running it through the production cycle to get it out probably around about Christmas time, at which point we'll have the lovely Reg um, set out. We'll also have a demo game of Divisions of Steel, World War II set, which should be out by then as well. And uh, you should be able to pick up a copy there. So I hope you'll all really enjoy that as much as you do the Ancients and the Renaissance games. Coming through to uh, Meg Developments, I said when I published the compendium, there wouldn't be many, and there are very few. Um, this book, as a rule book, is finished. It's staying as it is. I need to hold it steady for the camera because the camera doesn't pick it up with the background, but you know what it looks like. There we go. Um, it's finished. I can't really think of anything I want to change. 
Um, I'll have a long think maybe for 10 years time if I come up with other, some other great concepts, but I am very happy with that set of rules as they are. They represent history beautifully. They play well. Um, they're a very enjoyable game. Um, there's nothing changing. They're, they're, they're solid. All we're doing is creating some clarries and some additional FAQs to deal with a few of the ambiguities in there, which are mainly to do with quite unusual situations. Um, not the everyday stuff that crops up, but some of the stuff you'll see, little additions, there's a couple of sentences I probably missed out with hindsight, which could do with slotting in just to tidy up a couple of things. There's a new Clary document that will come together for that. In terms of the points and the army build, that always lags a bit a set of rules because we have to observe what people do with the final version of the rules. But actually, um, that has largely been perfect in 2020 as well. There's very little to change. Um, by popular demand and watching what people have been choosing, there are, there are a couple of tweaks in there that we're putting in. We're reducing the price of skirmishes. We've seen too few skirmishes in the game since Compendium was launched under the 2020 system. They're a little too pricey, so they're coming down in general. So hopefully we'll see a few more skirmishes, skirmish screens playing a part in the game. Uh, we have increased the price of skilled javelin as they were clearly underpriced. I mean, that was an error that we needed to correct, correct really to balance it. So my lovely favorite Numidian skilled light horse were a bit more expensive. But having said that, I've played the Numidian army and it comes out in the wash and it hasn't fundamentally changed it. I've still got all the skilled um, Numidian light horse in there. The maximum amount is still in there. So they're all in the game. Um, it's lost me, I think, one normal light horse group out of the army so I'm, I'm very happy with that it's not a massive change to it it tweaks the points a little bit makes them a little bit more expensive but actually it's quite correct they were underpriced uh, by popular demand we are reducing the cost a little bit of mediocre and competent instinctive generals which people felt were a little bit overpriced so they are coming down a little bit at the same time we've noticed in play that nobody uses allied professional generals and that's for a very good reason which is the way we set up the model, it massively overprices them because it takes some money, some cost off a normal sub, allied sub, which is quite expensive, when in reality, an allied profession is worth a little more than an instinctive. So we've set up now in the structure a separate column for allied so we can actually have them priced better. So hopefully a few of you will find an attraction of using the occasional uh, allied professional general going forward, which we rarely see happen at the moment. So that's, that's a little development uh, that's useful. And another little development just to keep things moving is uh, thank you to Lawrence Greaves who found a few equations that would help make it work in an office. Richard has taken on those, those on board and tweaked them still further. So we now will have versions of the army builder that will work with Office Libra, but also ones that will work properly with Open Office for those of you who want to use Open Office. So we, we've cleared that up and, and given you a bit more flex to use the different types of free software that are out there. In terms of the lists, again, they were largely finished for 2020. There aren't a lot of tweaks to do. There's a few armies that we've looked at in detail. There's been a long discussion about early Achaemenian Persians and the Pavisas through the years. And thank you for the input from four or five people who've read a lot about that period of history. So that army has been adjusted and people who play with that army already know what the adjustments are and uh, are perfectly okay with them. It changes it a bit, makes it more realistic. There are a couple of other armies there that have been tweaked by Richard, but not a huge amount of change in terms of the armies. You'll find that relatively limited. Um, the main thing that's changed is actually to give you some development that makes things easier, which has been an enormous task for Richard Jeffrey Cook. So I have to say, when, we, when you see him at the meeting, offer him a free beer. Everybody should offer him a free beer because the amount of work he's had to go through to do the following two things is, is huge. But it actually is what we can do now that we finalize things and we feel the points and the lists are all stable and everything's set. First of all, every PDF is going to have a separate section for Maximus, Magna and Pacto. It means the document's bigger, so you may not want to download the whole document, but they'll, they'll all be up there. But it means if you're building a Pacto army, you don't have to do any mental arithmetic. It also means we've managed to tweak the numbers to match Pacto in each of those different army lists and not have the oddball funny numbers that mean you can't quite get two pipe blocks or whatever. So we've created a, a proper optimized set for Pacto and for Magna and the original one for Maximus. So all three now exist in that system. So you can imagine that's triple the list and we already had 665. So Richard now has 
1,900-ish lists in total in, the, in these various things because they're now all in triplicate. The other fantastic thing he's managed to do is he's locked the list system to the points database. I have no idea how he's managed to do that, but by doing so, he's managed to import all of the points into the list documents. So I hate publishing lists in books, uh, early doors, because they're always wrong. So one of my philosophies was to keep the points online until they were stable. So when we did other rule sets and I was involved in the point systems were always wrong and they imbalanced things by printing them too early. But now we've gone through all these years of play and testing and are confident they're right, we can put them into the list with confidence. So you will find if you want to do scribbled versions of lists and work them out by hand, you'll find the points for all the main tree types are actually in the list. So you can doodle in a car. Um, or a doodle on the bus, however you wish to do to, to make up a list without the need to resort to a computer. And those of you, of course, who don't have access to a computer can write up a list that way and submit it for any event, and it's still going to be perfectly legitimate, which is very good. So it was a huge job. Fantastic thank you to Richard, supported by Nick in doing all of that. It's been an incredible effort, um, and I'm thrilled that they managed to pull that off. Um, so finally, it, we will go live with all of that. Simon Clark will be putting it all up on the website for Easter. So you can have a little Easter peruse, and it means it's all in place for the start of the new season. I think the first events in the UK are the middle of July, so go and enjoy those. If you've never been to an event before, try to go. The people are very friendly. It's great fun. Um, it's not terribly competitive in the old-fashioned form. Uh, and certainly, 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 please do sign up to the event at the LGT. And if you can travel from overseas to come along, come along. It's going to be a fantastic gathering. We'll do our best to get some biggish numbers this year. Of course, I'm sure once COVID's calmed down and, in, and the 2022 version comes around, we'll have a huge PSC gathering at the event, which will be incredibly satisfying. For our stateside people, no, Historicon is going ahead. It's moved. It's moved to November. Uh, we will have an event there. We are going to be playing a Magna event there, so the mid-size event, and then have a Pacto demo event. I'm hoping I'm going to be there. It all a little bit depends on, on the final speed of recovering, how travel works out, um, but hopefully I'll be there as well, and we'll be able to promote a big event in the US and get it going and have a first big gathering of Meg players in the US, which would be fantastic because I've seen people starting to play um, the Pacto version, particularly all over the United States. So it will be fantastic to start the process of drawing us together and really promoting the game. So that should be fantastic as well. So with that, look forward to Easter, everything going online on the websites and the forums over the Easter weekend. I will obviously put something up and let you know when they're all live. And if I can just wish you all a happy Easter or a bon pack for those of you who are French speaking, I wish I could do it in even more languages for our Polish friends, etc. but I can't yet, but maybe I will practice for, uh, for next year. And uh, let's go ahead and roll a load of skulls through the rest of uh, 2021 because this is the reboot. Let's go. <laughs>